Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Big clouds up to the north as we look at the Graber Post Building's weather cam and look at top of the 500 building on Wabash. That's there at the bottom of your screen, right above the scroll. A couple of orange things. You see the one. That's one of those inflatable tubes that you see. Don't know what those are doing up on top of the Wabash 500 building, but they're there. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Pleasant Valley Sunday coming up. 50s then. How about some 60s? And then we'll talk late week rain. Right now, mostly clear. 50, 25 is a dew point in Terre Haute. North Northwest wind at 10. Uh, pressure 30.31, rising. Nice stretch of weather. 24 in Paris this morning, 23 Terre Haute in Bloomington, 28 Vincennes. High temps. Uh, we hit 51 Terre Haute, 53 at Vincennes, 53 over at Effingham and Florida checked in at 54. North to south, Paris at 48 right now. Go down the road. Uh, Marshall's check in at 49. Casey the same, Newton at 51 along with Effingham. Winds coming in out of the west. They'll turn, oh, I think lighten up a little bit during the evening hours. So not much in the way of a concern about wind chill. A few clouds here and there, but for the most part, clear skies. And we'll clear most of these clouds out tonight. And that allows to cool off. Seasonal low in the 20s, but there's a steady warm up coming as well. Big picture, high pressure is ruling the weather. Look to the west, come through the Midwest, go down to the southeast. That's rain moving off the coast. A few little light snow showers upstate New York and to Toronto. That's it. There's just not a lot going on out there. Now, zoom in, take a closer look. A few clouds here and there. Other than that, we're in good shape. Locally, satellite and radar. Hardly a cloud to be found. Hardly any precip anywhere. Models picking up those clouds pretty well just north of Terre Haute. We'll dissipate the clouds with sunset, and then we'll enjoy clear skies, sunshine tomorrow. Maybe some cloudiness moving in Sunday night. I think those models overdoing the cloud cover with this high pressure and control of the weather. As we get into Wednesday, though, Tuesday night and Wednesday, we'll start to see the clouds on the increase. We'll make a few stops here on the nine-day precip. Dry now. It's been dry the whole month of March, but as we get into Wednesday night, we'll start keeping our eye to the sky. A few little showers moving in. We'll just make 12-hour stops. You can see there at 5 o'clock Thursday, rain across the valley. And as we go into 5 o'clock Friday morning, that system still hangs in there a little bit. A little frontal boundary right there. 5 o'clock Friday, that rain starts to push to the south. And then by 5 a.m. Saturday, moves on off. And after that, looks like we'll just have a slight chance of a shower on Saturday and Sunday. Get into Sunday night, going into Monday, though, you can see a little low-pressure system rotates through and brings us more rain. Probably some cooler weather behind that, but short-term, that green shading right there, we're in good shape. 50s going into 60s, and then by the weekend, maybe back down to the 50s. 27 tonight, that's uh, just about normal. Cool, clear, winds will turn, come out of the north overnight right now. Light from the west, 57 tomorrow. Beautiful day. Light east wind as we look ahead on the extended forecast. Averages are 47 and 29. Look at those temps. Four days, it looks like, where we'll have highs in the 60s, some sunshine. Nighttime lows, everything's well above the freezing mark, well above normal. Wednesday night late, we'll start to see some shower activity. Scattered around Thursday, maybe into Friday and Saturday, though it should start to taper off. We cool off a little bit by next Saturday, but, boy, the start of the week looking really good. If there's baseball, that's great weather.